So this is my stacked jar. I've tried to make it pretty, <laughs> but I failed miserably. Welcome to the Grange Adventure. Join us for the ride. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another day in the Grange Adventure Kitchen. So, in our previous live, you saw I am harvesting a lot of cucumbers from our allotment. So, I've decided that I'm going to make them last longer. We want to enjoy them throughout the year. So, I'm going to be making a pickle, a cucumber pickle. So, join me as I show you how I uh, make my pickle with the twist as usual i'm going to make a very big jar so i'm not sure how many cucumbers i'm going to be using because this is a jar nice isn't it so for the ingredients for this um, pickle i'm going to be using some the main ingredients obviously is our cucumbers then i'm going to add some dill some fresh dill to that and i've got some jalapeno peppers here as well because i want it to be a little bit spicy and I've also got some chili pepper, some red and green chili pepper. For the um, pickle, I'm gonna be using some white vinegar over here. Then I'm gonna be using some brown sugar alongside some, some turmeric, as well as some mustard seeds. And I'm gonna be using coarse salt to that, adding coarse salt to that, Himalayan salt. And to the pickle, to dry out the cucumbers, I'm gonna be adding just the normal table salt. So I'm just going to chop the cucumbers now and I want them to be long. You can either cut them um, round ways like so or you can do them in long strips. I want to do them in strips because I think they will look better in my jar. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut little strips like so. I don't want them to be too thin but I don't want them to be too thick either. So I'm, I've cut them in half and then I've cut them in half again. So one cucumber gave me four long and I'm going to add that to my, my colander and I'm going to be salting these. I must admit, I've had, I enjoy having pickles. I've had like gherkins and jalapenos olives and stuff like that but i've never had um cucumber um pickle so this is this, this is going to be interesting so because i don't know how much is going to fit into my jar i'm going to do a little trial run to see how much fits in there then i'm going to remove them and sort them and start all over again i think i'm going to need more than that so that's three so far i'm going to cut another one that's four so I'm gonna try try my jar so I'm just gonna lay them in my jar like so just to get an uh, estimate of how much cuke or how many cucumbers rather can fit inside of this thing here this is gonna be tricky I think this is a good way to do it so I'll just lay it on the side like so and I'm going to try and lay them and stack them like that. Right, I think this method is working. <laughs> it's quite tricky because of the shape of the jar. Well, I don't want to just throw them in there. I want them to look quite pretty, even though I'm going to be taking them back out. But I want to see, get a good um, picture of what it would look like when I I am finished. So I think I can stand my jar up now. Oh, I like that. You see, I like the, sh the, the look of that. So I'm gonna be adding some more. 
So I've got, I've got four cucumbers in here at the minute. So I think I'm going to maybe add another two or so. But bearing in mind, I'm going to be adding the peppers and the chilies and the, the dill. So I don't want to overstack it. So I think it can fit because it needs to be tightly packed anyways. Hmm, I like the look of that. So I think I'm going to add another two cucumbers to my lot, yeah? That's it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to empty my jar into my colander. And I'm going to add some salt to them. And now I've got six cucumbers here. I'm just going to add some salt, lots of salt to this and leave it to stand to drain the excess water. I'm going to give it two hours. So I'm just adding normal table salt to that. And I'm adding quite a bit because we want it to, and I'm going to just roll it up like that. And the only reason why I'm doing this is to remove the, because you know cucumbers, they have a lot of water. So it's just to remove the excess water from them. And I've just placed it over a bowl. This is just my bowl here to catch the excess water. And I'm just going to cover it over with a tea towel and leave it to stand for two hours. Okay. Hi guys. So it's been a good two hours since our cucumbers have been um, marinating, I would say, um, in the salt. So look, if you look, it did do the job. It got rid of all the excess liquid that we wanted to get rid of because we don't want um, too much water in the in the pickle. So this is the amount of water. I would say that's almost a cup of water that has drained from our cucumbers. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to rinse them underneath the sink for a good maybe four minutes to get rid of all that excess salt. I, as you can see, you see how they've gone all limp because all the water has been wringed from them. You can see they look slightly different from when they went in. Okay, so I've rinsed these cucumbers thoroughly for a good five minutes. I've tasted it as well to make sure that it's not salty because initially it was really salty. And so I'm going to leave them to drain the excess water. And meanwhile, that is draining. Put them to the side. I'm going to be prepping my, um, my jalapeno peppers and my chili. Um, I don't want it to be too, too spicy. So I think I'm just going to leave the chilies whole. So I'm just going to leave them like so. And then I'm going to chop my jalapenos. And I'm just going to cut them brown like that. I'm hoping they're not too spicy. <laughs> um, actually, let me taste it. Oh, those are fiery. You know what? I better take the seeds out, you know. They taste like scotch bonnet pepper. So I'm going to take the seeds out because I don't want it to be that spicy. No way. I'm just going to use leave them in strips like this. Okay, so I've got a saucepan here. I'm just going to put it on so I can get, start getting the liquid ready. So to the saucepan, I'm going to be adding three cups of white vinegar. So it's basically my entire bottle of vinegar. Um, and I had 568 mils in there. So I'm going to add my third cup to my saucepan. To my three cups of vinegar, I'm just going to be adding one cup of brown sugar and one teaspoon of turmeric to give it the color nice golden color then i've got two tablespoons of mustard seeds and one tablespoon of coarse himalayan salt you can add normal salt if you want and i'm going to leave that to simmer and i'm going to start stuck in my jar so as before you saw me doing earlier i'm going to lay the jar on the side i'm quite lucky to have a jar that can be manipulated so i'm going to stack it like so Ooh, they're quite wiggly now because the salt has dehydrated them 
So I'm just gonna stack it like so with my cucumbers facing outwards. I don't like, I want this to be on the inside. These to be on the inside and the inside bit to be on the outside, if you get what I mean. So it can look pretty. And I'm going to add my first layer of dill, a good handful, maybe about three, three stalks. And then add some more cucumbers on top of that. So I'm trying to manipulate this thing to get the chilies on the side so I can see them from outside because it looks really pretty, doesn't it? I'm gonna add another sprig of dill and then I'm gonna keep stacking. You know what? Initially when I did a little trial run with this, I felt like the cucumbers were enough but now I feel like they're not enough because they've shrunk, haven't they? The fiery jalapenos as well. That one on that side. I feel like I want to flip this jar, but I don't really want to flip it just in case. Everything comes tumbling down on me. Add some more dill. and add some more cucumbers. And I'm keeping an eye on the pickle. Mm, I'm not liking that side. I like that side. This side is kind of all right. I thought the measurement would be correct, but I was wrong. I should have had some more cucumbers to that. Well, oh well. Never mind. It's trial and error. Because I stuck them with some uh, majar before I started. But the cucumbers have shrunk. <laughs> and now I've got less cucumbers and more space. But that's fine. I'm gonna add a little bit more dill. And then I'm gonna add the last of these, you know, the peppers that I chopped up earlier. And then I'm gonna add my last two pieces of cucumber. And that's it. Hi guys, so the liquid is boiling now. So I'm just gonna pour it into my measuring jug and then add it to my cucumbers. Okay. And I forgot to tell you that my um, my jar, oh, can you see that liquid? Oh, it's nice and yellow. My jar is two liters, that's how big it is. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna pour this all in. To here so this is my stacked jar I've tried to make it pretty <laughs> but I failed miserably because of the shape of the jar it wouldn't allow me to do that so I'm just gonna add my liquid my three cups of um, vinegar with the mustard seeds and the the turmeric and the sugar Oh, that's beautiful. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that to cool. 
before I add it to the fridge. Isn't that gorgeous? So there you have it. I'm just gonna take my spoon and stuff it down so that everything is completely covered. Because you want a little bit, ideally, you want a little bit of space at the top as well. Initially, I started out with three cups of vinegar, but because this is such a large jar, it is it's two liters. That's how big it is. It doesn't look very big here. But this is a two litre jar, so I had to double my vinegar. So I had to have six cups of vinegar and added, I added a little bit more sugar. So I had it all together. It was six cups of vinegar, of white vinegar, two tablespoons of um, mustard seeds, one tablespoon, um, one teaspoon, sorry, of turmeric and one and a quarter cups of sugar. So that's what it came to. I'm going to leave this open until it cools down. You want to have a little spin that's what it looks like all around and then i'm going to close it i've got one of these fancy jars and then let it close it like so and let it stay in the fridge for the summer to enjoy it and that is our cucumber pickle right there So thank you very much for watching this um, video of us in the kitchen trying to make our cucumbers last longer throughout the summer. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial of how I attempted to make um, cucumber pickle. Um, I'll let you know uh, later on how it once it's been um, it's been marinating for a few days and i can show you how what we used to um, what we eat and what we enjoy with our people so thank you for watching please like share comment and subscribe blessings to you and the family great adventure